the Classic. He's using a driver with a different configuration. Ben Showman's here with me at the Cobra Puma trailer. And why don't you first of all tell us about what Ricky's trying to do and why he's doing it, Ben? Sure. So uh, this started uh, just a couple weeks ago. Ricky wanted to experiment with some different lengths in his driver, uh, notably short, shorter. So how his, short? Uh, so his gamer driver has been 44 and a half. Okay. So he's been playing with the F7 Plus driver uh, since Tiger's Hero event, and uh, his 44 and a half inch length is actually something that we arrived at probably about two and a half years ago. Okay. So been there for a while, and uh, he really wanted to try something a little shorter to see if he could maintain speed, distance. Let's see if we could maybe narrow the fairway up a little bit. Okay, you know, so a little less dispersion. Tighten the shot dispersion up. So it's been uh, a whole series of heads and shaft combinations that we were trying different weights in the heads, uh, different lengths. So we went to 44, we went to 43 and a half, um, and we did kind of everything in between, some different tipping uh, on those different lengths. So where he's arrived at is 43 and a half, is where he's comfortable but at. But to do that, you have to alter the weight of the head. Right, so because we're going shorter, he still wants to maintain that swing weight, right? So we still have that good feel at the end, so it doesn't feel really light. As we go lighter it's, or shorter, it's going to get lighter. Yeah. So we want to increase the head weight back up. Now, fortunately, with our F7 Plus product and our F7 product, we have the ability to do that with our weight system. So we have three specific key weight positions in the head. Okay. So typically, a standard stock driver is going to have one 12 gram weight and two two gram weights okay okay so obviously the two gram weights aren't aren't much so we can actually replace those with some heavier weights which allows us to get that swing weight up so a combination of that and some hot melt glue so the secret to the sauce here is inside of the head you're actually using this hot melt glue to strategically put weight back inside am i correct yes yeah absolutely so you know it's something we do um, at the factory level, it's something that we do out on tour as well, and, and we do it to get the swing weight exactly where we want it. So when we have a finished product, say it's D1 and we're shooting for D3, we're able to put four grams in it to get it up to that player's playable swing weight. So how are you shooting the glue inside of the head? Right through these bore holes? Yes, through these holes here, which also having these three holes helps us strategically locate it a little more precisely. And once you, this is the backup, this is actually Ricky's backup driver that we're working on right now. Yes, yeah, absolutely. When you were working with him to put this into play, how many iterations did it take before he got to the point that he's happy with the one that he has in play now? Um, you know, I, I want to say it was probably a combination of, say, maybe a dozen heads. Okay. You know, so um, it was also a, a loft component in there as sure. well. So typically as you go shorter, you're going to hit the ball lower. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times when you go shorter, you want to increase your your uh, your loft so we can add spin make sure the ball stays in the air all right so here's a key question i have for you for our viewers at home they just heard what you're doing with ricky fowler how does this technology apply to the viewers at home and how it can benefit them off the team well that's what's cool about having the ability to do this is that anyone can can do this anyone can experiment with it can order it this way uh, because we have the three different different weight settings um, and a weight kit you know that that can be ordered with it you can go shorter if you want wow. so you know shorter doesn't typically mean longer which is why golf clubs have progressively gotten a little longer over the years uh, but it's kind of finding that key uh, area of distance and shot dispersion I like the way that Ben just put that, finding that key area of distance and shot dispersion. So the breaking news we have for you is that this week, Ricky's actually got in play a shorter driver to try to affect the same. And maybe through all of this technology and all of these weights, it can work for your game as well.